Alright, this is set number two on airfield. Myth RTAE leading one set to love against the Silly Ducks Revolution. And yeah, why don't you take us through the tank selection? Uh, well, there's only one tank that's actually different, and that's Opalisk. I think he switched from a T69 to a T32. So RTA going with the same exact tank setup, and I really support that, actually. Yeah, yeah, great job. Yeah, it really worked out for them in the first set, so they are going to just use that wide chain, something that works. And yeah, Silly Dust Revolution slightly changing up their setup, going with that one extra heavy tank instead of an extra uh, T69. And RTA e e going early on for that northern pass. Yeah, they're already sending one of their WZ-132s to go really, really fast up here. This tank is so fast, man. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah definitely. Yeah, I mean, that one WZ-132, it's, I mean, I think the AMX-13 might be a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the WZ-132 has just a little bit more firepower. Mm -hmm. So it's like a slightly differing uh, kind of play style. But here we have an, or we could see an early engagement on the hilltop. Yeah, Panda Eye, I, he spotted a tier one. Um, it is just behind that corner, and RTAE, they're actually not going for a Northern Pass push. They're actually going with the same strategy they went with last time, kind of camping around the base area and sending out those two light tanks. Just like you mentioned, that's I guess that's their, the, the strategy that they love to use, is use those lighter tanks as scouts and those lighter tanks as bait, essentially, and then use those AMX-50s as just snipers. Yeah, I feel like on open maps, if you go with only heavy tanks, you lose a lot of map control. Yeah. You have to set up... You can't move much. If you do move, you can be out in the open. You can be very vulnerable. But if you use three, you still have a lot of uh, firepower and a lot of range, but you use those two light tanks to go around, to scout it out, to get some map control that you would lose if you had five heavy tanks. Yeah, definitely. And RTAE here, yes, yeah, still or no. Yeah, the Silly Ducks Revolution, kind of, um, they are guarding that northern pass. So right now, Silly Ducks Revolution, they do, they are much more spread out on the map. I, they, I, I don't know why they have those two tier one scouts back at the base, so they really could use those out in the map, you know, using those for vision and for more map control, but right now they are back in the base. Black Lebel has been spotted by Ara, Ara Amine, same with Panda Eye. So right now Ara Amine, he doesn't want to engage us. It is a 2v1, and those Amex have been so good at long range. So yeah, the, all the members of the Silly Ducks have to be extremely careful. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You have that much firepower in the back, you just... You can't really go past the halfway point on this map yeah. with those AMX 30, uh, 15s, uh, yeah, 50s. Yeah, what I want to see RT or yeah, R uh, the Silly Lux do is send use those T1s back at the base, send them out on the northern pass, see if any enemies are there, because there are pretty much no forces over there in the northern area of um, the, the RTA side. And if they realize that, then Silly Lux can actually push over there and gain control of that area. But right now, since they're, they aren't utilizing those T1s, they, they really, it's not opening up any options. Yeah, I don't know why they're not using those tier 1s, just keeping them back, yeah. I guess, as last resorts for, for sure. a base capture. But I mean, it, like if, if you keep them off the base, they're just way too far back for you, for, you know, for you to even push out. So right here we have uh, Calliope, gonna push out. He did spot a heavy tank on the Silly Duck, so now uh, RTE have a pretty good idea on where the Silly Ducks members are. They, I mean, it's pretty predictable. Once you see one of those heavy tanks over there on the Northern Ridge, or the nor Northern Pass, pretty, you, it's a safe guess to, to assume that at least two or more, more members are over there. Yeah, I mean, parking a bunch of those, or what heavy tanks uh, Silly Ducks Revolution have on that Northern Pass, you, when you have that little, you gotta keep them together, you know, you can't really spread them out, like, with these AMX 50s, they can be a little spread out, but mostly they're just together, you know, and then they gotta be together. So when you see that one big heavy tank with a T32 for Silly Ducks Revolution, you scout that out with your fast uh, tier 8 light, you pretty much know what the Silly Ducks Revolution are doing. Yeah, so Obelisk here, he is still in that northern pass. I wanna see RTA be more aggressive though. I mean, I, I don't know if they got a warning for, for camping. I mean, last, last game, I don't think they, they weren't camping, but. I mean, this game, they could possibly be camping right now. They are not moving out their heavy forces. I mean, although that position is not bad. Oh, and it seems like it's taken off. But although the positioning from RJ isn't bad, it's really not opening up any possibilities for engagements. It really isn't. I mean, I could I could see like slowly creeping forward being a good idea. But after seeing all those tanks up there on the northern ridge, and they actually spotted a lot more in two of those. I can see it on my screen. They spotted a lot more facility disruptions forces. So. Now that they've spotted it, they've actually started to shift their heavy tanks up towards and we might see a fight soon. 
Yeah, so Zillodex, they are pushing more towards the western edge of the map up that northern pass, but they are slightly backing up because they are scared. They were spotted. And, the, and I mean, RTAE right now, yeah, with those AMX, if these back up the base, although, you know, I can understand exactly why they have those there. You know, it is on the high ground. You do have, you know, pretty good um, angles for the rest of the map. But right now, if you keep, if they keep those tanks there, you know, RT or the, the Silly Ducks, they aren't dumb. They're not going to walk into a trap. They're not going to walk in into three AMX 50s and die. Yeah, you know, especially after what happened last game. Exactly. So, you know... I mean, right now, for an engagement to happen, it's up to the to RTAE to actually make something happen. If they just sit back and wait for for um, for RTA or for the silly ducks to come at them, then you know it could be a, it could be you know a, a not a good situation. For them. Yeah, and a couple of tanks spotting each other here. There's two light tanks here. I think they might close in here on Panda. Oh, yeah, it's a two of one trouble. right now. Our Omni going out to Panda Eye. Panda Eye getting taken down to about 50%. Those Ambex 50s got to shoot right now to uh, right back up. The first shot does miss. Panda Eye getting taken down to 9%. He, he might, yeah, he does make it over that ledge. Our Omni, he wants to follow that, but he is scared of those Ambex 50s. Those Ambex 50s uh, providing plenty of backup cover right now. Panda Eye now he is right behind that ridge. And one shot managed to land onto our Omni. Yeah, the Ambex 50. Such a long range right now, Black Lavelle, he was spotted. Yeah, Ashgar Musketeer also taking a little bit of damage from those AMA 50s. So, yeah, right now those AMA 50s, those, the positioning is good, but it's just, I, I think it's a little bit too passive. Yeah, it's a bit too passive. I mean, Pandai was caught out there and it wasn't even past the halfway point. Like, all those two light tanks did was they they rushed up behind Pandai and he took all the way down to 9% health. And if the AMA 50s were in there, like, he would have died. And that would have been that would have been it for RTA. They would have been had to they would have had to have been really aggressive with those AMH 50s, which isn't yeah. really what they want to do. Yeah, so exactly. They gotta be careful. Yeah, if they manage to take up Panda Eye, then this would have completely turned around the strategy from RTA. You, you know, then all the basically what actually the Cilius could do is pull back to their base, camp out, and just wait for RTA to come at them. But they did unfortunately they didn't manage to take up Panda Eye. Panda Panda is about like nine percent right now, right? Okay, so nine percent. Yeah, nine percent. Our still he, he actually moved over to this northern pass. The rest, yeah, the, uh, neither team has really moved. But on the, yeah. except those light tanks, yeah, neither team has, 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 has moved at all. It's been about seven minutes, and the only thing that's happened is a bit of scouting yeah. and a bit of small skirmishes. Small skirmishes, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Calliope here he is trying to get a shot onto Obelisk, but Obelisk is ready for him right there, aiming his turret actually. Yeah, Cloak right there just saying, nope, I don't want to engage that in top. Yeah, see, those AMA 50s still there in the base. I mean, yeah, I like, like, you have three AMA 50s. At least send two of them out. Okay, I can understand yeah. keeping one of them back for like a support kind of fire AMA 50 tank. But right now, with this current situation, it's not giving any opportunities for Silly Ducks to engage. The Silly Ducks want to engage RTAE, but they're not dumb. They're not going to go in for a suicide push and walk into the uh, and walk into the RTAE base. And yeah, RTAE, they're just they they, they got to move out sometime. Yeah, you, if you have three, like you can leave one back to support yeah. fire, but it, you're not going to get anything done if you're just sitting in the back and the enemy team isn't moving. Exactly, exactly. I mean, right now the RTAE strategy is is just kind of like. Just wait for Silas to make a stupid error. Like, you know, just get too impatient to, to wait any longer and just push on. Because, you know, neither team wants to get wants to get disqualified being too passive and like, you know, what RTA is doing is they're kind of kind of forcing the hand of of uh Silly Ducks. And it seems like the Silly Ducks is, have already moved past the middle point. They yeah. do want to do something, but yeah, there's not much opportunity they're not gonna do. Like you said, they're not stupid, they're not gonna run into a bunch of pretty tanks, but I don't know, yeah. just incredibly passive pay coming out of RTA. Yeah, I mean, the Silly Ducks, they've passed the midway point many, multiple times already. They are backing up once again because they realize that RTA is, does oh, not want to wow. full-on engage, but they managed to get Panda Eye, and they now have an eight-tier point advantage. RTA, he have to move out right now. If I were the Silly Ducks, I'll just run back to my base and hide. And it seems like a couple of them are doing that. Just that they're yeah. two of the light tanks are just going straight to the middle and probably going to go back. Yeah, so this could be the beginning of the end for RTAE. RTAE, I mean, with that passive play, you know, it's it, like now they have to move out because if they don't move out, they're just going to lose. They have about 30, less than 30 seconds now. Yeah, Kylie up here down to about uh, 
74%. Obelisk here back to uh, here to back up this fight. All the forces of RTAE now moving up this northern pass. I think the Sillers gotta move back right now. They yeah. gotta pull back just a little bit. They are outnumbered right now. Silly Ducks are outnumbered over here. They have less heavy tanks. They could do a lot of damage. RTA could. And I don't know, Silly Ducks should have moved back before the stake took the tier point advantage. There's only two oh, seconds, two seconds left. left. 